Hi guys, welcome to another teardown video. This time we're taking a look at the new Cream Clicky, spelled weird as per keyboard convention, switch by Novel Keys. As with other Novel Keys switches, this one is produced by Kai Hua, and it uses an interesting mechanism. It's effectively a stacked spring switch employing a click plate, similar to Futaba MA Clicky and Alps SKCP plate spring switches. Superficially, it resembles an MX type switch with a color I wouldn't describe as cream to be honest, and one of those dust proof style sliders, but externally, it doesn't really look different to many MX type switches. Though MX compatible, it's quite different from MX type switches though, obviously. The slider has a spring loaded plunger on it, powered by this captive spring. Now, I've tried taking this part off and then reattaching it, but I couldn't, so I think this is non removable. This assembly is pre-looped, by the way. The plunger, in turn, pushes on the magic ingredient, this small plate spring held in a small enclosure at the bottom of the switch housing. Like with other plate spring switches, when this reaches a certain pressure, it suddenly inverts, creating a clicky noise and tactile feedback. It's basically a tiny jam jar lid inside the switch. The coil spring is there to provide over-travel, so you don't actuate only when you bottom out, which is nice. To make matters a little bit more interesting, the buffering action of the coil spring takes away almost all of the pressure that the tactile event causes though, so it feels almost completely linear, which is a very rare property for a clicky switch. More on that in the actual review down the line. Actuation occurs from the slider camming on this block attached to one of the two contacts, which is fairly standard in that regard. Like with MX type switches, it's a default hold open arrangement where the cam gets pushed out of the way when the switch is pressed. Note that unlike MX switches, this one swings open horizontally rather than vertically. This means that the clicky noise isn't inherently tied to actuation, which is almost never the case anyway, but in this switch it's pretty important as the click plate has rather vast physical hysteresis, so keeping the two separate is a pretty good thing actually. Unless you let the switch return pretty much completely to rest, the clicker itself doesn't reset. Overall, the switch is above average in complexity with nine parts. Two parts housing, two contacts, a cam block, a slider, plunger and coil spring, and the plate spring. That's it for this video, and I'll see you next time.